Yes, boys, it's time for another Darken video. And this video is going to be a very special video for me because I will be showing off the Taku Sentai, both of the LR Ginyu. You've got LR Ginyu Force and LR Ginyu Force with Genku right here. So I'm really looking forward to showing this off because I really like these guys. Like, I know they're free to play units, but. I run them quite a lot whenever I use the GT Trio and even as free to play units they do quite a lot of damage you know on the global side right now so I want to see how much damage they can do on the JP side with the new links and also just to let you guys know this was a recommendation from my boy Nick so remember if you have any units you do want to see any wacky rotations comment it in the comment section or just let me know on discord if you are part of my discord and you know, please like and subscribe if you like any Darken content. Like if you haven't seen anyone really go over these units, but I am, you know, hit your boy with that like and sub, like and sub. Okay, so this is a team I will be running. So both the Ginyus, uh, this rotation are just on the side because these are terrifying conquerors. So I am allowed to just transform this guy and have it as that. And Turles will be, the Turles and the Golden Cooler are the support I have chosen for this team. And I will be back when I am in that infinite Dragon Ball history. Just double checking. Boss Rush has not came back to uh, JP, has it? Just a quick check. So I know Boss Rush has been down for quite a while for JP. Oh no, it is back. Uh, I'll stick with the infinite Dragon Ball history. I've got a good thing going. I've got a good thing going. Yeah, so I'm going to jump in there. Be right back. And we are back in there. Sorry for that little bit of delay, but our rotation is looking not so nice. Not so nice, unfortunately. So I will float off the first Ginyu Force LR just to try and meet up with the other one. That is the fastest way of me getting the rotation I want. So unfortunately, I will have to do like that. So you won't get much damage here, unfortunately, because as you can see, they don't seem to be linking up with the other ones. But you know, once I get once I do get the rotation flowing, it should be looking really nice. And Cooler, I've been using Cooler so much for all these showcases because Cooler legit is the leader for like all kinds of best teams. And you know, it's a bit annoying. I do not have this guy on global. Hopefully, we will be seeing him for the download celebration in about oof, September time, I think, is where, where it will come. So we're kind of close now. Unfortunately, this guy will not get a super, so I'm just going to do it like that. Just to make sure I don't take too much damage, but before I've got no links as well. No links without 80k defense yet. Nothing to really look for at the moment with no links, but let's just try and get this really done quickly just so I can see how they look when they're linked up. The cool, they're going to do a thing again. Big damage. And I think Cool is even going to take this. Yeah, 793. Yeah, n not optimized right now. Not optimized, so nothing really to look at. And this tech golden cooler is an alright support unit, I will not lie. It's okay at supporting. And please kill. Okay, that's great. And with one rotation away, one rotation away. <laughs> Although this rotation is going to do some damage. Hold up. 95k defense, that's what I like to see. This guy, pretty easy, A, yeah, going to do some hella damage, hella damage. Going to save those orbs as well, just in case if I do not kill him here, just so I can see one of the Ginyus do some big damage. So 99 slap, 2.9 mil. This is pretty easy, eh? Like, this guy is going to be disgusting with his easy, oh my god. This guy, pretty easy, eh, is probably just as good as Tech Broly, the easy, eh, Super Saiyan 3 one. Okay, maybe that's a bit of a stretch, a bit of a stretch, boys. 3.7, oh my god. Has that cooler been taking steroids or something? Because I feel like cooler should not be doing that much before transforming. And we've got the rotation. Did not take that long. Just talk about like 4 or 5 minutes. And let's see how these guys link it up together. Bang. Some nice links. Did I show all the links unfortunately? Like if I put that there. Does it look a bit better? Now it looks about the same. Looks about the same. So they're not showing every link. But they're showing a lot of links. So gonna see how these guys do. I will get this guy to super first. Oh can I get this guy's 18 key? Basically. If this guy 18 keys first. So let's just have a look. Yep, yeah, so when he 18 keys, he will raise all extreme class allies by 30% for the turn. So if he gets his 18 key, then the rest of them will be stronger. Unfortunately, though, I will not be able to get that 18 key. The key did not land in the good spot, but 
18 key with the other one. So let's just see how they work at the moment. Remember, Cooler is not supporting them by any means. Cooler just does not link up with them. And Cooler only supports transformation boost when there's only one enemy. So let's see how much this one's doing. 2.24. For a free to play unit, that is actually some really nice damage. You think about it, like, it's really easy to get the Ginyu, both Ginyu forces really, and like, to get them rainbows all is really easy, so if you can have a rotation where they're both doing like 2 mil each, that could really add up. Okay, and I will get this physical cooler to end this off, yeah, I think like the coolers are just gonna take over the rotation, or take over the whole showcase I think, but let's see how it goes anyway. But yeah, 2.7 this time, yeah, no turtles, we've got that golden cooler on the rotation instead. And... Just the fact that Big Bad Bosses works 100%. I've said this on so much videos, but that literally breaks the game. <laughs> and we have got the rotation we want. Okay, so this is the perfect rotation. This guy... Okay, I'm going to go for just... I'm not going to go for 24 key on this guy, so I can go for 24 key on the other Ginyu Force member. So, before I hit the last orb, let's check defense stats. 91k and 100k. On a hundred seventy, this is fine. Honestly, hundred k defense there when you're a support you and not support you, but when you're free to play unit, it does support like extreme class allies as well. This does support um, in your force unit, so it helps the other ones. So they're helping each other as well. So it's always nice to have units that synergize correctly. And let's see the damage. Dude, what? That wasn't three point two mil, was it? <laughs> Come on, 3.4. Is something wrong? Like, I, what? This rotation's so strong. What the hell? Oh my god. Turles, yes, is given a 40% boost, but still, still, guys, 40% boost. Yeah, that's okay. But three over three mil on both of these free-to-play units that link up well together. And it's not like it's like a World Tournament LR, which is hard to get, or, you know, it's like a bat filler, but still. That is insane. Honestly, that is... One of these will transform, yeah. I'm going to transform one of these. Goodbye Saiyans as well, but I, just, I need to see them again on rotation, maybe without support, and get the 18 keys on both of them again, because that was insane damage. Like, I can't... Stress how much I enjoyed that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Time to dine on that monkey soup. Cooler wants to hit up. And let's see, 454 four and 490. Oh, so you look up better like this. Honestly, let's just do it like this, honestly. I will see Cooler in his higher, hardest state. Obviously, I missed the super attack there, but is it really going to matter? Because if any of you guys know, know this Cooler, like 4.2 mil guaranteed crit, it's like kind of a... Uh, Kind of a game over for any Saiyan. Yep. Crash and boom. Yeah, so. OP unit hit. Oh my god. If he's on the download celebration, I'm going to drop hard. Like, I need to get him with at least two dupes. Like, your boy wants two dupes. So now we've got another support, unfortunately. It'd be nice if we had another one that linked up, but... Again, it's fine. Uh, Gonna hit these orbs to get there. Well, let me think about this. I just gotta hit that, hopefully the orbs drop okay, and did the orbs drop okay? They did not, unfortunately. I'm getting kind of cocked with the orbs here, so I can only hit two. Just made it on the 18 key though, just made it on the 18 key, so let's see how they do here. Oh, gonna hit me, double digits, 2.81. Still, solid damage. And now that he's super attacked, the extreme units on the rotation are now stronger. So now we're gonna see 2.64. And we are now going to see Tech Cooler, even with no links, at least 1.52. Yeah, so I hope they do bring out some more Ginyu Force units in the future. Now, there's already a team called the Signature Pose, which is great because that gives the Ginyu Force access to Popo, which, why did I not do that anyways? Okay, it's kind of similar anyways, but that, obviously that could have been an, another different team you could have built, but... The reason why I have not built a team like that is because I do not have access to, like, Tech Buller on this private server. So I cannot do, like, the whole youth signature pose team, unfortunately. So I will just do with this. And 
I mean, you get to see damage like this. Can you ask for any more? Like, give him that crunch. Bang! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, the showcase has been taken over. I'm sorry. I love you, Ginyu Force. I really do, but... The, when the cooler's in the mix, when cooler's in the mix, it's just a different game. It's just a different game. It's not It's not a case of killing them. It's like this... It's destruction. Honestly, destruction. Okay, so... Gonna, that, gonna get that 24 key, I think. That Oof. That's what I do like to see. Let's go, let's go. Dark attack here. Will I miss any of them? I do not know. I do not know. Also, if you if there are any units you do want to see as soon as possible and you don't want to wait for me to do a video, even though I am quite consistent with the uploads, if you go to twitch.tv slash kizandokken, I do stream every day as well. And if you ask me there, I can probably showcase you the unit there. Do not check the attack start of this unit, unfortunately. But obviously this will not kill. This will not kill. So no support at all. No support on rotation. Uh, tanking without an item as well. Yeah, so 2.76. 2.76, no support. This is a rotation that's really nice. This is a rotation you could run at some other places. Although, you know, I'm not going to tell you that, yeah, you can easily hit the, like, the Legendary Goku event. Or like maybe one of the later Evo Dragon Ball histories with this team. It's just a nice rotation to have on the side. It's also really nice to send out if you do your... Battlefield, your ultimate clash. This is all oh, I always do send the Ginyu Force team out first. Because you know it saves me a team in the back and you know I get some clears. I do get some clears with it. It's really good strategy. And if you have not got the Ginyu Force farmed up, I definitely recommend you to farm it. Even if you're not a fan of them, it's always nice to have them, you know, as a free-to-play team already. Five million. Yeah, so uh Has anything actually survived a cooler rotation? Yeah, I do not know. If anything has survived a cooler rotation. <laughs> but uh, yeah, gonna take him out. And we are at the strength goal on stage. Okay, so let's go. This is the strong rotation. And this is the strong rotation. We're gonna hit that up. Get to the 23 key. Unfortunately, none of that 24 key. A 23 key again. Oh, they had to do me like that. They had to do me like that. But let's go. So, not 24 keys, but still a 3.27. When they get that 40% on the rotation, their damage is literally looking like kind of summonable LR style. Like, I know that sounds a bit weird. I mean the lower tier of summonable LR. I mean like Broly Trio <laughs> levels of damage, I guess. <laughs> that sounds kind of bad, but if you've got them and if you've used them, like even at the rainbow level, they're not doing that much damage. And yeah, I'm going to take a bit of damage here, unfortunately. Oof. Oh my god, that was more than just a little bit of damage. Uh, am I okay? Am I okay? Let me just have a look. Oh my god, I was not okay. Oof. If I couldn't kill here, that would be really... Uh, that would be quite shocking. But I will item up next time because... Yeah, this is a dead Gohan because nobody survives the cooler rotation. If I die here though, then that would be pretty crease. But let's go. Yep, yeah, hit it. And no one has survived this rotation yet. Can Strength Gohan? And the Guaranteed Slap? No. <sighs> Nearly survived. Okay, not really, but... Uh, <laughs> what is this cooler, man? Oh my god. Okay, now we item. Now we item. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm going to survive in that first slot. This may be the place I die, because these guys are not built for this type of event. I'm not going to lie. But... Just going to show you that even with these units, I can still get to the end. Let's see if I can actually complete this. Let's go. Just don't sweep me straight away. If you could just wait a little bit. or oh, 18k is on the slaps. 20k on the slaps. 2.81 mil though. So, as you can see, the damage is consistent. They lunk up amazingly. And this is not their skill ceiling. They can definitely get a better leader. They can definitely get a better support unit on the side. Maybe someone else that gives like... I oh, know. 50% to Ginyu Force units, they definitely deserve it because they're such a limited team, but they are still a category in the game, so I would say that Dokken should not just, you know, forget about them. Maybe the next time we do go to Planet Namek, because at the moment Dokken is just going through all the sagas quickly, they're not doing every unit in the sagas, they will be back, and when they go back to the Namek saga, hopefully we get a new Ginyu Force, hopefully we get like I know maybe an LR Jason Bird, that could be a, that could be a thing. You know, there's so much things they could do to just help out this team. Because 5.81, by the way. But uh, Dokken bring out tons of teams. They bring out so much teams in Dokken. But the thing is, they don't flesh all of them out. Like, 
you guys remember that there is an other World Warriors team? Do you guys remember that? Because, like, 85% of people don't remember that there's an other World Warriors team that came with the Super Saiyan 2 Goku because it's just... It hasn't not been fleshed out. They haven't got, like, a dedicated support unit. They haven't got a unit that only works for them, really. Like, because most of them are on Fusion. So, hopefully Dokken does do something with that. And, oh, damn it. Curtis is going to kill. I did want to get the kill with the Ginyu Force, but it is what it is. It is what it is. And there you have it guys, we're reaching near the end of the video once again. Thank you if you did actually watch this far, we'll would be really surprised. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be great. And if you have any comments, do leave them in the comment section for any more showcases. But my honest opinion is, for two free-to-play LRs that are really easy to get, even for free-to-play players, or even early player status, they are insane. Like, obviously they're not legendary Goku material, but honestly there are not much free-to-play units that are legendary Goku event material, and you can saw it. I took it in, yes, it got carried by Strength Cooler, I'm not going to lie, that, but it was a fun rotation, and at the end of the day, Dokken is all about having fun, and this rotation is clean, it's not like it did zero damage, honestly. So when Turtles on the rotation, they had like 3.2, 3.4. Without Turtles, like 2.8, 2.7 2.7 with this guy on rotation and then a bit lower when those. But they were still getting over 2 million attack stats and they were both starting on 14 key. So all you had to do was get 4 key, bang, there you go. That's without a support as well. So I think they're good. I think they're good. I think they're definitely worth farming if you have not farmed them. Even if you don't like them, they're definitely worth farming. And yeah, let me know what you think of them. Let me know if you like them or not or if you just don't have any taste for them. Uh, let me know. And this has been Kezan Dokken and I'm going to bounce out. See you next time.